feel like I need my glasses. I cannot tell if this is in focus, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video is yet another weekly reading vlog. I am so glad to be back. I missed you. I was not able to film one of these last week because of a work trip, so I'm just glad to be back in my routine, in my home. I'm glad that it's Monday. Hello, hi, happy Monday. It's been such a lovely morning because I had no work obligations that kind of required me to, you know, get up early, get ready, out the door, into the office as early as possible. So I figured I would take the opportunity to just have an easy morning, wake up on my own terms, and it's been lovely. I woke up around 7.30, I think, and I just, you know, slowly woke up. I got out of bed. I made my matcha. I put on makeup for the day, although I still haven't decided if I want to head into the office or not, so I'm still wearing what I wore to bed, but... I'll figure that out after this and then as far as like checking some boxes off that I didn't even realize I had I got the random urge to post like a little reading update life update on bookstagram so I went out on my balcony this morning and just took some cute quick photos so I posted that and then I wanted to post a patreon post as well so I took some pictures as I was getting ready and I posted on there so I feel good like I'm like okay Instagram check patreon check and now your guys is hard so obviously introing the video which we just have a lot to say I'm sorry that this is kind of a long intro but this week I'm obviously filming the weekly vlog, but I'm also going to be filming my swapping screen time with reading challenge video. And the way I'm going to structure it is you guys are going to get all of the like thoughts, opinions of the book that I'm reading. And the screen time video is really going to focus on the challenge. Like you're going to know what books I'm reading for it, but I'm really just going to focus on am I reading as much as I'm supposed to each day rather than kind of duplicating the thoughts and opinions in both videos. So I don't know which video is going to go up first. I'll probably make that disclaimer in the other video as well in case that one goes up first. I have no idea. So that's kind of that. As far as the current book I'm reading, you guys are going to die. <laughs> Daisy hates. Okay, but listen, I know, I know you guys are like, JC, we saw your last weekly reading vlog. That was like, what, a week or two ago? Like, how are you still reading Daisy Hates? But I might offense. I had to put this down last week because I was filming the like library blindly choosing my TBR reading vlog situation, which at this point you guys have already seen and you saw how much of a disaster it was. Oh my gosh, such a fail. I feel like old me honestly would have been like, that was such a fail. You're just not going to post it. But I feel like that's kind of the point of reading is like sometimes you have like major successes and other times major fails. So I'm going to edit that and post that this week, I think on Friday. I'm also needing to finish editing for the Harry Potter part two video that goes up Wednesday. I watched the final video last night. So I mean, completely done now, which is great. This is currently the only book that I'm reading. I don't know if I just want to be reading one book at a time right now, because I feel like for the swapping screen time with reading, like, let's just focus on one book and get going. So we'll, we'll, We'll finish this. I don't know. I would love to finish it today, honestly, but we'll see if I have the time to do that. So that's kind of the overview of what this week will be. Lots to do, lots to film. So I'm kind of excited because I feel like I thrive when I just have a lot going on in a sense that like I just have structure. Like there's going to be no time for me to just like sit and doom scroll on my phone. So kind of excited for that part because I really am in the mood to read and then my phone just distracts me and I get frustrated. So I made my matcha maple brown sugar situation this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's so good. I mean, the ice melted because, oh my God. Do you see like my life flash before my eyes? It's because I thought I was going to knock that over. Anyways, I know this is a very long intro, but I feel like there was a lot to say, a lot to catch up on. So here we are. Now, let's get this vlog started. Okay, I filmed my like intro to the reading challenge video. That was an experience because now I know how much I have to read today. That'll be fun. I just made some food. I have not had this since probably college, but it is an avocado toast with an over easy egg with an avocado like mashed up mixture. I always added garlic salt. So it's been a while since I had this. I had my first bite. It was so good. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll tackle my responsibilities today. I just finished eating, but I did go ahead and chop up the rest of my strawberries just to kind of have as a fresh snack. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on a few things. Honestly, desperately need to read after seeing the amount of time I need to be reading today, but work first, read second. I see it in your eyes. Yeah. 
Okay, I had to turn on the camera because, guys, I hear thunder. This is the second time in the last, like, four or five days that we've had this mini thunderstorm situation. I'm so happy. The Midwest in me is so happy. I loved living in Florida for college because they had the best, like, rain thunderstorms. And then, obviously, growing up in the Midwest iconic thunderstorms and then I moved to like the DC area where we got rain but we didn't have thunderstorms there was no lightning thunder all of that and then I moved to California where duh they do not get just regular thunderstorms but in the last like few days this is the second one I don't know what to do with myself this makes me so happy Okay, it's about 5.45. My computer's in the other room huffing and puffing, sounding like a jet because it is currently exporting my Harry Potter part two video. I'm so glad to have that finished because I spent the last several hours off and on between work stuff, finishing and fine tuning those edits. And I just feel good that it's officially done. It's exporting. And also I have another day in case I run into any exporting hiccups like I did with my last weekly vlog. So I feel good. I had the goal of finishing editing that today and starting to export it and I did that. Now with that, I haven't been able to read today yet. So I have no reading updates for you guys. It was a relatively chill day of work. You know like just not a ton of activity going on which was nice. So I just kind of did what I needed to do and then worked on the video side of things. So I'm in a good place. But as far as the swapping screen time with reading challenge goes, yeah, could be better. So I am going to actually go take a shower and everything. I desperately need to wash my hair and then I'm going to probably make some food of some sort and get in bed, like just like kind of set up in a cozy environment, let my computer be loud in the living room and read. So I probably just won't check in with you guys for the rest of the evening and I'll check in with you guys first thing in the morning with a reading update. Good morning, happy Tuesday. So hello, hi, good morning. I have a reading update for you guys. Last night I was able to finish Daisy Hates. Now I can't really articulate my thoughts and opinions at this point. Honestly, this is like attempt number three of me trying to record this clip because I try to talk about the book and then I'm like, that just like doesn't make sense. You're not making sense. So I gave this four stars. I think that will be the final rating. I may be able to articulate some thoughts and opinions later on in this video. Otherwise, I will just be able to talk about it in the reading wrap up. But I definitely liked it. Obviously, I gave Magnolia Parks five stars. So I didn't obsess over this like I did with Magnolia Parks. But it definitely grew on me. Like I can easily say this book grew on me as I read it. So this series and the easy statement that goes with every book of Jessa Hastings is her writing is just so amazing. I love the way that she writes about those like little unspoken moments between characters feeling for each other and the way she describes hurt and love and oh I just I adore her writing so much. It makes me feel so much. Okay, I just got ready for the day and I have a mini book haul for you guys. I know I mentioned it on my channel before, but in case you missed it, I created this book buying ban plan for 2024 and it's essentially, I can only use gift cards or credit card reward points money towards books. And I can say that it's been so successful so far because I'm not saying you can't buy any books this year, but instead I just have limited sources that I can use towards books and I've been very aware of when I see a book out in the store and I'm like oh I know I want to read this eventually but I don't see myself wanting to read this right now why would I buy it because I know that you know in three weeks there's a new release coming out that I've been dying to read so don't spend $50 here when you're gonna want to buy those three new releases next month type of thing it's been lovely it's honestly been lovely. I totally recommend creating some sort of plan if you found yourself in the similar position of just buying 10 books for no reason, thinking you'll read them eventually. Yeah. Anyways, I have a haul of four books for you guys. I got this with only gift cards, I think. And these are all books that I've been like eyeing for a while or I want to read right now. 
right now like hey maybe I just saw them last week but I'm dying to read them so these are the four books the first one is fear the flames this has been on my list for months I think I was influenced a few months ago from bookstagram and I've been really in the mood for fantasy romance and just a good romance story so that's kind of what I'm eyeing either like a romance only or like a fantasy with romance so fear the flame the next one is A Dawn of Onyx. This is by Kate Golden. I've seen this book around a lot and I haven't read anything by this author, but I'm kind of excited to get into this. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. The next one is You with a View. This is actually the book that I'm going to be starting today. I'm so excited. I've just seen this raved about. I've seen it raved about in the past from a few people, but then it kind of got mixed reviews. And recently, there was just a couple people I follow that were dying over this book. And I'm like, okay, I'm convinced. And then the last one, I've had this on my list for probably a year. It started with Destiny Sidwell talking about it. And then recently, Bookstagram, guys. But that is Binding 13. And I desperately wanted this alternate cover. I have seen this out for a while and it would go out of stock because it's no longer like being made. But for some reason I saw it in stock and I purchased it because I wanted to read this now. I'm definitely in the mood. But at the same time, I've been really nervous that this cover is going to go out of stock and then I'm never going to get it. And I'm going to have to ultimately read this with one of the other covers that I just don't like. This is the only cover of this book that I like. So I'm very excited to dive into this. I know that people just love these characters. So I'm nervous because of that, because what if I don't? But I want to read this sooner than later. Okay, I just actually got back from Target. I just made a quick trip. I got some groceries over the weekend when I first got back from my trip, but there was some stuff I was running out of and I just needed a bit more. So I went and I grabbed a few things. I mean, a few things that cost me like $70. <sighs> In this economy, I'm telling you. <laughs> but I am back home. I am going to check on some work things and probably start listening to the audiobook of this and then read physically later on today. The audiobook just came in from Libby, so I'm excited. It's like perfect timing. So yeah, I'm going to listen kind of to that. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to do some work. I just made an iced coffee that you guys saw. And that's my update. My Harry Potter video is currently uploading. I had a successful export overnight, so that makes me feel good. I got to make that thumbnail today. I do have a actual to-do list. I don't know why I'm just pretending that I don't. Oh, I need to schedule a test. <sighs> Part of moving to a different state and I have to buy a car next week. I have to take a knowledge test, like the written test for a driver's license. Like I have my license, but from a different state. And I didn't get a like California one when I first moved here because I wasn't driving. I didn't have a car, so who cared? <laughs> um, but now I'm buying a car, so I have to schedule to take that test, and I want to take it tomorrow, so i got to do that. And then all of it's really about making the Harry Potter thumbnail, filming for the other reading challenge video, things like that. So, okay, that is my mini update. I will check in with you guys later on. <laughs> guys I'm not okay like in the best way so unwell it's a little after one and I really just got started with this book I'm only 30 pages in but I felt the need to pull out the camera and talk with you guys because I have nearly cried twice like I have teared up twice in the best way like I'm just feeling so much I love love so much like it just makes me so happy and I had heard what this book was about 
before but I kind of forgot so when I picked it up just now I was like okay I don't really remember but whatever like we'll figure it out so I'm gonna speak a little bit to it on what this is about and I did confirm just in the first paragraph nothing I say is a spoiler so we are following Noelle she is like a 20 mid 20 late 20 year old I don't know and she just recently lost her job and had to move back in with her parents and her grandma recently passed away so this all happens like before the story starts but you're just like kind of immediately told that so when she was going through her grandma's stuff she found these old photographs of her grandma with another guy when she was like 20 and so she's like oh my gosh my grandma and this Paul guy I see letters I see photographs they were in love I want to know the story of this romance this clearly big love situation that my grandma was in just a couple years before she married my grandpa like, what's the deal here? So she ends up making a TikTok that goes viral. Now, keep in mind, Noelle is not a social media savvy person. So she makes this TikTok trying to just spread the word and find this Paul guy. So it goes viral. And Paul's grandson ends up commenting, like, that's my grandpa. And so she goes to meet up with Paul and the grandson. And the grandson, her arch nemesis from high school, Theo. So that's the premise of this. Like, she just wants to know about her grandma's old love story before meeting her grandpa and then obviously her and Theo. That's the romance of this. But I just met Paul and I was crying because just the little things he's already said about her grandma, heartstrings. It's just so cute so far. I'm excited to see Noelle and Theo interacting but just hearing Paul the grandma and just thinking about two people being so in love it's just so cute so i'm excited to continue this but i had to hop on give a little synopsis if you will and express my love for this so far okay it's been a few hours since i last talked with you guys it's about four o'clock now and I am about 50% of the way through this book. So many moments. Like, <laughs> I adore this book with everything I have. Like, there's no notes. No notes. There's not a single thing I haven't enjoyed about the plot line or characters. I'm loving this book. That's my update. It's as simple as that. Oh my gosh. I'm very curious about the last 50% because I know that it can't be this good. You guys, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 1140, but I just finished you with a view. <laughs> Five stars. Five stars. I just thoroughly enjoyed this book. I love these two main characters. They felt real to me. Like the stuff they go through, the insecurities they have, the growth that they're dealing with. I mean, I feel like everyone talks about, you know, your early 20s kind of entering the real world after college as a huge growth period. And that is so true. But I feel like your late 20s are also that because you're expected to just have your life together, right? And like, life happens. You deal with loss, you deal with job things, you have goals in life that you are trying to achieve, and I just love them. I love them. It deals with so much, but not in a like severely deep way you know as far as like the subtle things in life that can add stress to different people we have this beautiful love story between noel and theo but then we also have the old love story between paul and noel's grandmother from their early days and it's just portrayed in such a beautiful way so oh my gosh this was such an unexpected read like i thought i would really like it but I wasn't sure if I was going to want to give it five stars. I can't imagine giving it anything else. Wow. I'm going to go update the other video now. 
with my timer and everything and give just like a little update on it there. But I just feel so happy right now. I just feel so happy. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's about 10.45 or so and I went to bed so late last night so I have quite the late start to my day. Like I went to bed at 2.33 a.m. kind of late for no good reason. I mean I'm gonna blame the high I was on after finishing you with a view. You guys saw my thoughts and feelings after finishing that. Like I was feeling it to my core. To my core. So I am now up ready and we're gonna head to the coffee shop and read Colty. I want to start this today. I just want to sit in a coffee shop with my lavender matcha, reading a book. I don't work today and I have no desire to get out my laptop to do any. So that is where I'm at. I do need to take that written DMV test I said I had to take for renewing my license in California. Like I already have a license but it's from a different state. So now that I'm buying a car, I need to get my license in California. So I studied yesterday or the day before. I've studied off and on, but now that I'm taking it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna review some stuff this morning just like on like a Quizlet people have made. God bless those people. And then this afternoon, I hope to take it. So for now, let's go to coffee shop. Let's enjoy this beautiful weather and read. Okay, it has been several hours. I was at Starbucks. Honestly, I shifted gears. I started reading a little bit, but then I started studying really for that DMV test, which I just took and I passed, which is just a relief. Like your girl has test anxiety. The DMV can ask super stupid questions and I was just nervous for that. So I'm so relieved to just have the test out of the way. Now I have to figure out how to get to the DMV to do the rest of the part, like the paperwork side of it, and retaking my picture. Guys, my driver's license picture currently is like one of the best ID photos I've ever taken. So, I'm devastated. <laughs> how am I supposed to do that again? Um, yeah, so I'm nervous about that. But when I went to just like book an appointment, it took me to May. But you can do kind of walk-in situations. So I think possibly on Friday, I don't know, um, I am going to do this like virtual line thing where I could at least say like, okay, put me in line and then I could Uber to the closest DMV when there's maybe like 10 people ahead of me or something. I don't know. But I'm not going to like sit at the DMV all day if there's like 30 people ahead of me. No. So there's my little update. I feel good. I only read like a chapter or two of Colty, which I mean, it started out interesting, but I don't really have any thoughts and opinions yet. I want to go to the library and return all of my books, like the four books I read for the library buying TBR situation. So I want to go ahead and walk over and do that now. I just got back from the library and normally I love filming in there but today it was just so busy with kids and adults so I figured hey maybe don't bust out a camera and record strangers just a thought just wait till you get home and give a haul so I have a mini haul for you guys I already had two books there on hold ready to pick up so the first one is contact by Carl Sagan this one was actually recommended to me by one of my co-workers I had suggested to him quantum radio and I hadn't read that book before, but I wanted in a giveaway, and the synopsis sounded so interesting. So he was reading that, and he recommended that I read this before reading that. This is, like, no correlation as far as, you know, like, the author or a series or anything, but I think he just had suggested I read this first, so I got that. And then the other one I already had on hold was Beartown. I feel like we've all been seeing this everywhere, so I figured I would pick it up. I hope to read it. We'll see. I definitely have to be in the mood, I think, for something like this. 
I don't know. I think I saw Lauren from Lauren's Reading Corner talk about it, and I think that helped kind of, I wouldn't say put it on the map, but it's just a lot of people started talking about it, and then I think it was Taylor that, like, gave some review that made it feel like this book would hit home, so... I feel like her review is what really pushed me to go ahead and at least get it from my library. Then I just started browsing around and the first book that I picked up, I actually wanted to pick it up last time, but I didn't because I had seen people talk about it and it wasn't going to be a part of my, you know, library blindly choosing my TBR, but this time... I picked it up. It is Half a Soul. I think I first saw Katie from Katie is Reading on YouTube. I think I saw her talk about it and really like it. And then I think Haley Pham recently read it, but I don't remember seeing her review on it. So Katie, she motivated me. And then this next one, I don't know. I saw it and I just figured I need to read it. And that is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I've seen this book I wouldn't say raved about, but I know a lot of people love it, and I'm not sure I've read a single Abby Jimenez book. I feel like I haven't. Like, nothing jumps out to me, so I'm very interested to see how I like this, and then potentially, maybe if my memory serves me correct, be introduced to her writing. So yeah, we'll see. At this point, it's a little after 4 o'clock. We actually have some March Madness games happening right now, so I'm going to turn that on, and then I'd like to get to reading, but I'll probably make a little snack or something first. I'm definitely a little hungry, so make a snack, turn on basketball, read Culty. Okay, it's a while later. It's currently 8 o'clock or so, and I wanted to just kind of hop on, give a reading update, kind of recap the day. I mean, as far as the reading challenge went for today... I'm only 100 pages in to this book. I'm not that slow of a reader, so let's just say that the reading challenge of today did not really go as planned. I definitely went into today thinking I was going to have a lot more time to read. I feel like I just started out on the wrong foot in a way because I stayed up really late last night, so I woke up really late this morning. I had no reason to like set an alarm to wake up early so I didn't get out the door until like what 10 30 11 o'clock or something and I only ended up reading for like 30 minutes at Starbucks because then I realized I really need to study for that written test for like the knowledge test of the DMV stuff so taking that going to the library and then by the time I was done with all of that and sat on the couch ready to kind of read again it was 4 30 and I was tired I was so tired. So I only read for probably another hour or so and got to page 100. I mean, the problem I'm having is as far as like the reading challenge goes, if I wasn't trying to film the swapping screen time with reading stuff, I would just be like, okay, well, it's okay. Like you're just tired today. You won't read a lot. But I'm struggling because I, <laughs> the challenge, I'm supposed to be reading, and this book just isn't meant to be read when you're tired, like to push through in a way. I am liking this book, but the whole thing about Mariana, Mariana, Mariana Zapata is she writes slow burns. And that means you are not going, at least for her writing styles of slow burns, you're not hooked 50, even 100 pages in to where all of a sudden it becomes a page turner where you just have to know what happens and you can't stop reading. I feel like that point kind of comes halfway through the book maybe or like 200 pages in so I'm just not there yet so I'm just liking it I'm intrigued but I'm not hooked to the point that it's easy for me to stay up and it's easy for me to continue reading even when I'm tired if that makes sense like that's not a knock on this book it's just the type of romance it is so I don't think I've talked on the plot of this I feel like a lot of people know this book a lot of people know you know, Mariana Zapata's writing style, but this book, it is about a soccer player and the coach. Like, that's the romance, and it's kind of weird. So, Colty, it, I see it's weird as in, like, it's nothing I've ever read before, so it is age gap. They're 12 years apart, and I haven't read any of her sports romances yet. So that's what I mean by like weird is it's just different for me because I read All Roads Lead Here and I gave that five stars and then I read Dear Erin which I know I didn't give five stars but I feel like I gave it like four, four point two five. I don't know, four stars or something. Um, and obviously those are just not sports romances so very interesting to me. Colty is 
that's his last name, and he was, I guess, a superstar soccer player, like, world-renowned soccer player, and he's now retired, but keep in mind, and, you know, professional sports, you retire early, like, obviously, if you're working your 9-to-5 job, you retire much later, so he is now going to be coaching Sal's team. So Sal was like seven years old when she first saw Colty on the screen. He was 19 and he was in what I think is considered like the World Cup pretty much here. And she like loved him, right? She's like, oh my God, I had posters of him on my wall. And then he turned around and married someone. Like she was pissed. So she ripped out all the posters because she's like, didn't he know like he was supposed to fall in love with me? You know, just like irrational kids having crushes on stars in any way. So she then hated him after that and now he's her coach and they do have some sort of history not kind of directly but indirectly and so she's navigating that because she just knows Colty as this amazing soccer player that you know is explosive on the field and kind of gets angry and yells a lot and so now she's having him as a coach and he's nothing like that and so she's just like what is this and let's just say they've had a couple interactions so far that I'm like what he's definitely the grumpiest of my Mariana Zapata uh, guys men so far I was gonna I don't know what I was gonna say probably something embarrassing but in all roads lead here like that main male character he was grumpy but he wasn't rude per se He's just like a jerk right now and I feel like this is actually the turning point because of certain stuff that just happened. So I feel like we're going to start to see maybe a different, not like 180 different Colty, but like kind of see some differences within him now. So I'm excited to continue this, but I'm tired. So I just don't know how much more I'm going to read tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'm back to work. I don't know if I want to go into the office or not. I kind of planned on it, so I think I want to, but I just don't know yet. So I will touch base with you guys in the morning, and we will figure that stuff out. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Hi, happy Thursday. I just got ready for the day. I desperately need to wash my hair, so it's in a slicked back bun situation but it kind of matches the vibe guys like these pants i still haven't put on regular shoes so if you saw my slippers no you didn't <laughs> okay it's almost nine o'clock i want to head out i want to i was gonna go into the office today i just i can't do it i don't know what it is it's a very gloomy day but i know that if i stayed home i would not be probably productive and if I went into the office, I probably just wouldn't be happy. Like, it's just, like, a mood today. So, I think I want to go and work at, like, Starbucks or something. Let's check. Can I spend no money today? 210 points. Guys, I've been really good about using. Remember, it was, like, nearly 1,200 points or something. And so, I've been slowly just using the 200 to get a free drink. And also, like, the gift cards and stuff. So, I have money from that standpoint so yeah um but the drink i wanted you guys are gonna make jay-z you're so extra and like i know i have these moments so i really want the lavender matcha drink like so bad it's so good um and my starbucks that i was gonna go actually like sit at doesn't have it like it's out of stock today so i want to run over to the target that has a starbucks inside and see if they have it and like order it there and then go to the other to actually work yeah but in my defense i literally went to starbucks yesterday yesterday morning right and i went to go get the lavender matcha and it was out yesterday so i got a different drink i got like a pink drink or something so i did actually you know already suffer this just makes me sound so petty and so extra. But I have my moments. I just desperately want that drink today. So I figured I'm not in a rush. I will just go over there, see if they have it. If they do, great. I'm going to pack my bag now so I can just swing back by here and 
go do some actual work today. I have no reading update for you guys as far as culty goes. I ended up not reading anymore last night. I think I last talked to you with you around like 8 45, 9 o'clock or something and I am pretty sure I was asleep by 10. Like at the latest. So I knocked out for sure. Like I was just winding down watching a video to relax so I did that. And now we are here. I woke up on my own around 7 30 so I got a good amount of sleep. I'm hoping the weather doesn't drain me because it's definitely like making me feel slow this morning. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go pack my bag and we're gonna go do some work today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been loving music recently. Like just loving having it on. I've just, I've just been vibing. Simple as that. I go through these waves where I listen to music like all the time and then other times I like won't listen to it for like weeks. I don't know. I don't know but I'm in a music wave right now and I just had the bravery to post a link to my Apple Music like profile because I put like some playlists public. And I was like, okay guys, this is a trust exercise, so I'm going to link it down in this video as well if you care to look at it. I only have a couple like themed playlists. I really like making a playlist for every year, and then in that year, every song that I find or kind of rediscover, I put on that playlist. And it's kind of fun looking back because each year I can kind of see like... Oh, like that year there's a lot of sad songs on here and then other years I'm like wow these are all very like upbeat fun songs it's just kind of funny to think about that period of life or you know who was in your life at that time and I like that so I've been listening to my 2024 playlist and just vibing it's so good I'm loving this okay it is currently 2 15 it's been a very Full work day. I feel so productive. Honestly, going to the coffee shop was definitely the right call. Like, I was really focused and I just felt like I was giving it all my attention, which felt lovely. And then I just got back home, I guess, on Thursdays this month. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Starbucks is doing a thing where it's like if you buy one drink, then you get a second free. And so I did that on my way back because I'm like, well, why not? Why not? So I got the strawberry cream frappuccino and it has like the strawberry puree which I love. I remember trying it on that like strawberry chocolate chip thing and I was like oh my god this strawberry puree makes it. It makes it. So I got one of these because this is not something I would normally get and then I got a, another matcha for the, for the walk. Well I guess not for the walk. For the sit on my couch later. I'm gonna finish this first because it's a frappe that I'm gonna drink that. I put it in my freezer right now because I don't plan to keep it there but I figured that will cool it better than the fridge at the moment. Um, I didn't read at all but I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> it wasn't like I was just sitting doing nothing for work and I had downtime. Like work was pretty packed the entire time so far. I just kind of had a stopping point if you will. Like I just finished a meeting so I was like oh let me just walk back home now. So I did that. I have basketball on. I've been having it on in the background while I was working at Starbucks, so that's fun. I just like March Madness. I like having it on, but that is kind of my little update. I need to schedule the TBR video, like the library reading vlog, to go up tomorrow, and I need to make the thumbnail for that. So I think I want to tackle that now just to have it done with, and then, and then I don't know. I mean, I have to still do some work, but as far as what else? I mean, I do want to read. I do want to. I'm just having other things I need to right now. So we'll see. But good day so far. Good day. Good music. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Like, beautiful. On my walk home, I was just like, I'm so happy. Like, I don't have seasonal depression in the sense that I'm truly like clinically depressed during the winter, but it definitely affects my mood. So when we have very gloomy days, when it's very cold, I definitely feel my mood change, my mental sanity change. And then I'll be like, wow, like I'm just feeling so like down or 
lazy. I don't really have motivation to do a whole lot. And then the sun will come out and I'm like, oh girl, you're fine. You're fine. So there's that. Like it's nothing severe. I don't know how to describe it. Like I feel like we all feel that during the winter months. Like no matter who you are, there's a level of just like, man, I just don't really want to do much. So living in a place for me that's sunny most of the year and warm most of the year really was going to help me. Like I knew no matter what, I was going to end up somewhere that had that type of environment. So I'm happy to be here. June gloom, I guess happens in March though. So we'll see. But um, that is my nearly five minute update because I love talking. I will check in with you guys later. Okay, I took a shower. I feel so clean and fresh. It's currently 6.30. I ordered some food. I did Uber Eats. Yep, I did it. I just, I made the choice. I don't want to cook. I just don't want to do that. I want to watch basketball and chill out. I probably will read some today, but I don't have a strong desire to force myself to read after having a full work day. It's just not happening. So I updated the other video. And now I'm just going to hang out, wait for my food to arrive, and watch some basketball. You guys, I just got back home from the DMV. I went and I got my license stuff and like I took my picture. I did all the document things. They're going to send it to me in the mail. Honestly, big sleigh on the makeup today. Big sleigh. Um, I am back home and it is currently 1230. I... I don't know what I want to do because it looks so nice outside so I kind of just want to sit outside but I know that I have a lot of reading to do but I also want to watch basketball so I'm just very conflicted on what I want to be doing today but I at least wanted to hop on and say hello. I basically got up. I had some work. I wouldn't say like emergency but work stuff came up that definitely needed my attention this morning that I didn't plan on so I did that first thing and then I got ready for the day and ended up heading to the DMV pretty early. So now I'm home and kind of settled. I need to figure out what I want to do for the rest of the day. So I'm going to figure that out. But hello. Hi. Happy Friday. Okay, what I'm not going to do is show you guys the mess that is in my kitchen right now. I was devouring different drawers this morning trying to find various documents that would help you at a DMV type of thing like proof of residency, who I am, all those things. So I made a mess and I've yet to clean it. But I want to go ahead and I want to make my maple brown sugar matcha right now. And then I want to sit out on my balcony, just enjoy some fresh air. I'm going to take my book up there. I'm going to take my laptop and have some games on in the background. It'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and make my matcha. <music> You guys, what the frick? It is almost five o'clock and I had listened a bit to Colty when I was sitting outside, like I was reading it alongside listening to it as you guys saw, and I just went to re start it, I guess, or continue it. And now I don't think it's on Audible. But not even not on like it was a part of the Audible premium catalog thing, but now it just doesn't even appear to be on there. What am I supposed to do? Like, I was loving the audiobook. But I'm just confused because I'm like, no, I don't see it at all. Not just like, oh, it was removed from the catalog, but it was like removed from Audible? <sighs> Play. This requires an active Audible membership. Like, hello, this is what I have. My current membership is literally that. Thanks for reminding me. So then I'm just like, what happened? I was enjoying the book. Dang it. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I don't know if I want to start something else in its place because I really like it. But I was kind of just in a groove with listening to it as I was reading it. So I don't know what I want to do. Dang it. 
I'm just gonna be salty about it now. Sorry. Okay, I just picked out my next read. I took off the dust jacket, but I'm gonna be picking up Divine Arrivals. I feel like I'm surprised by this. I don't know if you are, but this was obviously not a part of my March TBR, and I kind of knew I was gonna be picking something random to read right now because of the books that I recently got from the library and everything. I requested audiobooks as well for those and those are currently just like on hold I'm waiting to get them so I figured I'd wait on those and I'd just pick up something randomly that I have yet to read and I was looking on Libby at their like skip the line stuff so I have a few different library cards on my account and I love looking at skip the line part so if you like go to just I think search for something the little I don't know kind of suggestion boxes for stuff to search Sometimes libraries have a skip the line and then you can skip the line for books that have often very long holds And so Divine Rivals audiobook definitely has a long hold and one of the libraries had allowed me to skip the line for it So this is perfect. It should be a pretty quick read I feel like the audiobook was only like 11 hours or something at one time speed So I feel pretty good about starting that today I will hope to finish it by tomorrow is the actual goal because I definitely want to just be reading a lot But we'll see I'm excited to get going on this. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Okay, I have to be quick because the sun's going down, but I wanted to hop on and give a reading update because I am on chapter five, about 40 or so pages in, and I am really enjoying this book so far. I mean, I know a lot of people love this book, so I thought I would like it, but I just wasn't sure how quickly I would get into it. And I'm pleasantly surprised because there's a romance in here, and usually when romances are involved in a storyline, I really like having duo POV first person. She is telling this in third person, but the way she's telling it, makes me feel like I'm getting duo POV first person because she's having this element where you're switching kind of who you're following between Roman and Iris, but she has these moments where you're getting their thoughts and so the thoughts are italicized in first person. So I love the way that she's writing this and I feel like I'm still getting what I usually like out of romance stories. So I'm liking this so far. From what I understand, I've heard the plot in the past. I just kind of forgot exactly what it was about before picking it up, but you're following Roman and Iris and they are both young journalists at the, I mean, it's called the Gazette. It's just a local newspaper type place and they are both competing for a promotion to become a columnist so they have that rivalry going on and then Iris she is supporting her and her mother and her brother has been sent to war and so there's this war going on but it's like involving gods so there's this fantasy element to that I'm not entirely sure of the war story yet but Iris the whole plot of this and I remember that once kind of the first thing happened but Iris is trying to send letters to her brother but because of whatever magical situation is going on here they're actually going to Roman and she doesn't know that they're going to Roman so Roman knows that he's getting Iris's letters because of what she's saying in the letters he was just able to like okay yeah a plus b equals c but that's interesting I remember that and being like oh and I can just say like after the first kind of Roman's POV that we got I was like ah shoot I'm gonna like this guy. I'm gonna like him. Dang it. Just like add him to the list of fictional boyfriends I have. So there's that. This is honestly quite a short book when I think about all the other fantasy romances that I've read, but I've been craving a good fantasy romance ever since reading Powerless. So I'm excited. I'm gonna continue on with this. I don't know how far I'll get you know, with it tonight, I definitely wanna watch some basketball and kind of pay attention to certain games, but I'm really enjoying this. Good morning, it's the next day, so hello, hi, happy Saturday. It's about 9.30 or so, and I actually went to bed at a pretty good time last night. I feel like I was asleep by like 11. I reached a little over the 50% mark of Divine Rivals, which I am loving. But then I was like, girl, you're tired, go to bed, because you have to work the next day. So, here we are. I want to watch a few basketball games today more than others, so I think I want to go ahead and get out the door and do a few hours of work at a coffee shop just so I'm sat and focused. I feel like if I were to try to do work on my like laptop on my couch this morning, 
I wouldn't be as focused and I just need some good productive hours. So we're going to head out the door, do a few hours of work at a coffee shop, come back, enjoy some hopefully great basketball games, and then do a bit more reading. So let's go. I'm back home. It is currently 1.45. I got back probably like 45 minutes, an hour ago. I'm not entirely sure. I was kind of stuck at Starbucks a little bit because it was raining and I didn't bring my umbrella on my walk there. Kind of dumb because it was even sprinkling when I left, but nonetheless, I am watching the KU men's game and also the Iowa women's game. Like I literally have it on my computer and then the TV. So yeah, but I am enjoying basketball. I had a very productive time at Starbucks, but it was only work stuff. So obviously I can't really, I can't really film my work stuff. So I didn't really film a whole lot there, but it was really productive and I felt really good about it. And then I plan to just be here for kind of the rest of the afternoon. And then later this evening, I am going to go with my friend. We're going to go get boba and then probably walk around Irvine Spectrum. So that will be fun and I'll probably take you know a few clips while I'm doing that but for now I just want to watch some basketball probably focus on these games like actually sit and watch these but then afterwards for the rest of the games I'm going to be multitasking because I really want to continue Divine Rivals so that is kind of where I'm at for now hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind Second you guys I have just finished Divine Rivals. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I want to rate it. Hold on, I'm just putting the dust jacket back on. I really love this book. I don't think it's a five star for me, but I don't know if it's like a 4.75, if it's a 4.5, maybe like a low four. Like I'm not entirely sure. I know that I really enjoyed this. This was definitely unique to me in the type of romances and fantasy romances that I've read in the past. But oh my gosh, guys, can we just take a moment? Those last two chapters had me. Like, I was just sitting there reading this. Yeah, no, like that. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Like, everything just escalated so fast. I am so glad that I read this now and not, you know, many, many months ago where I was going to have to be waiting for Ruthless Vows. Like, the last part of the, like, main chapter before the epilogue. I'm okay. No, like, I'm fine. I think if I didn't have my makeup on and I wasn't planning on leaving my house this evening, I probably would have bawled my eyes out, but I was honestly trying so hard to just reel it in. Full, full transparency. So, this was so good. It was so good. Like, if you've held out on reading this because you're just, like, unsure of it, or you're like, this is just so hyped, I don't want to read it, I recommend this. It was such a unique story. Wow. I know I talked about it when I first started it as far as like the plot and stuff. So I don't want to speak more to it. I feel like whatever I said was probably enough. Um, and I don't want to speak more to the plot to give anything away. So Divine Rivals. Wow. Now I want to see, I guess, like could I get the book checked out for my library do I have to buy it like is the hold you know like crazy long or is it manageable it says I'm in position 54 so that is a very long time I went ahead and placed the hold in case like something crazy happens but odds are I would just have to buy this which I mean fine I'll do it <laughs> Because I own this one, so the odds are I would want to own the second one as well. But I said it would be faster to get it from the library if it was like going to be available soon. So that is a decision I will have to think about if I want to buy that ASAP or not. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. My friend, like she gets off work in 30 minutes. So I'm going to film a clip for the other video real quick. Gosh, sorry. 
the lighting's doing crazy things. But I'm going to film a clip for the other video that I'm going to get ready so I'm just good to go and maybe tackle this couch thing. I didn't, no one told me my hair looked like this. <laughs> I guess I put it in a clip when I was getting ready. <laughs> God. Okay, hello, hi, good morning, happy. Sunday, wow, days of the week. Guys, I just got this top last night. I'm sorry, it's like giving beach, it's giving summer. And I'm here for it. It's only a high of like 60 today, but I'm wearing sweatpants and this top is just like a cute but cozy outfit. I put on a little bit of makeup this morning. It's just like a touch less than what I would normally do. Like I didn't put any like contour bronzer type thing. I just put on blush and like a base, some mascara. Yeah. Anyways. Guys, I want to do the trend. It's not like a trend to post, but I want to do it myself. Um, where I seen people like do their makeup routine, but then calculate up how much their routine costs based on their products. And I think I would actually be pleasantly surprised because I recently found like a lot of dupes for things that make my routine not that expensive. So I kind of want to do that just to see how much it is. And then when I think about certain products that I have had for a long time, like that lasts me a year or something or like six months, I'm like, okay, but that only costs you like $14. What a deal. So I kind of just thought about that this morning and I kind of want to do it. But currently at 9 to 1 T, I was up late last night. Like I got home around 11, 15, 11.30, something like that. Last night was so fun with my friend. Um, we got boba at Bomo, Momo, something like that. And it was so good. Line out the door for a reason. I feel like it wouldn't be that busy during like the day or something. But I think it being obviously a Saturday night, people were there. Um, but they honestly moved pretty quick. So if you're in the Orange County area and want to go... I think they have two locations, so I loved it. We'll be back. And then we just walked around Irvine Spectrum and went into different shops. I got something from Sephora, like a updated like on a product I ran out of. And then I got this top from Brandy Melville. There's so much from Brandy. That's just like basic pieces that I'm not trying to have last me years. So why spend a lot of money? But this top, I love it. It was like 20 something. It was just giving summer and beach. And so I was like, mm, deal. And I've been seeing a lot of off the shoulder tops recently. So I wanted one. That's my reason. I actually wanted to get more sweatpants from them. But I think they don't have the sweatpants I want anymore. Like the style. Guys, why do we want thin waistbands? How is that flattering for anyone? Like give me a thicker waistband like a normal sweatpant I don't know it's just my rant of the morning <laughs> but I have work to do I got up honestly a pretty good time considering I went to bed I feel like at like 3 a.m I woke up around 8 maybe and then like I just slowly woke up I was on my phone and in bed for a bit and then I kind of got up I swapped laundry stuff I made my bed I cleaned up a little bit of stuff and then I got ready so Feeling good. I think I want to go work somewhere else just to get up and out of the house. I mean, I see blue skies today. I think it'd be nice to go walk around outside. And then basketball will be on today as well. Um, so I'd like to come back and watch that. I did place an order for a pickup at Sephora. Like there was one product that Irvine Spectrum Sephora didn't have. So I just did a order pickup thing for another one that's near me. Um, so I might get that later but I don't know if I'm motivated to do that today or I'll just do that this week but I am gonna go ahead and get out the door I did not tackle sorry I saw something on my floor I did not tackle my whole couch situation last night 
but I also had to charge my vacuum so I charge my vacuum and maybe I'll tackle the couch thing whenever I get home you know doing the cushion all the things so let's go ahead and get out the door I didn't start I don't think I did I talk about this in this vlog I get so confused with the videos but I'm gonna be starting yours truly today so this is my next book of choice wow what a floppy like what a good book oh okay <laughs> so whenever I get home I'm going to go ahead and start that book and that is all I have happy Sunday I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you you guys you guys I literally hit record and started watching basketball I have a probably like three minute clip of me like this <laughs> like well, that's not too useful. It is currently 3.30. So I think I left Starbucks around 1, 1.30 would be my guess. I had such a good like work session though. It was so, it was perfect. And then I came home and I just chilled for a minute. I was definitely feeling sleepy and I was like, mm, do I want to take a nap? Do I want to shower to wake up? Like I had no idea. I do need a shower because I need to wash my hair bad. But I got this in the mail today. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do. So I went ahead and put a hold, I think yesterday or the day before, whenever I finished the um, Divine Rivals, which was yesterday. Wow. Um, I put a hold on Libby for the audiobook because I really, really liked the audiobook of Divine Rivals. Like when I was reading alongside, it was just so nice having the like male and female narrators doing their thing right so I think I would love to listen to this so I don't know if I want to use my audible credit to just get it or wait for Libby but Libby it'd be weeks like months maybe so I'm like I don't think I want to do that I have no idea so I'm gonna think on it figure that out but it came today and it made me happy when it showed up I haven't done any reading so I think now's the time that I want to go ahead and pick up yours truly at least get going on it I don't know. Okay. Like, I actually have no idea what this book is about. Like, I, I have no idea what the plot is. So, okay. And I think I, oh, I didn't know that Emily Henry has a little blurb on here. Jimenez is a true talent. Wise words. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what this is about. And I don't think I've read a, an Abby Jimenez book. So, we will see how this goes. I think I'm going to go ahead and start it now. Okay, is this going to brighten? I feel like that's a bit better. So, it's currently 5 o'clock and I have been reading. I'm 100 pages in, chapter 13, for those who care. And I am liking this. The more that I... Like read it I was like oh okay it's coming back to me because I'd heard about like what this book is about before but I just couldn't remember um and it is about so you are following Brianna and Jacob they're both doctors and the whole thing is that Jacob has like medical clinical anxiety and so he has a lot of social anxiety so when it comes to his first interactions going um for his new job at the hospital Brianna's working at the interactions are off to a good start but it's like a misunderstanding because of his social anxiety so he ends up writing her a letter to apologize and then they have this like letter correspondence thing yeah it's cute like that's the simplicity of it I don't want to speak too much on it I feel like that's the relevant information to go into it and I, I mean, I'm liking it so far. I'm not like obsessing over it, but I'm definitely intrigued. I feel like Abby Jimenez's writing is very bingeable. And the anxiety side of it, like I'm not, I don't have clinical anxiety, but I have anxious moments. And so the way she's depicting those in here and you kind of get this thought process because you're getting dual POV and when you're in Jacob's mind and the way he's thinking about stuff, I'm like, yeah. No, I mean, like, that's relatable. Like, I get that. So I feel like a lot of people could relate to his anxiety and the way he's thinking about stuff and the way he says that he, like, copes with it and stuff. And, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm going to take a break so I can eat, maybe shower, 
I don't know yet, so we'll see, but off to a good start as far as just having a chill evening. I think I got to do a little more work stuff, not a lot, but there's definitely one more thing that I need to get done, so I'm going to figure all that out. Huh. I've just been having basketball on in the background, but um, I feel like this is the first game that's actually interesting. This is the women's Virginia Tech versus Baylor, but this afternoon, like, there hasn't been that many like games I'm interested in, so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, I am sorry if you can hear my what is that one? The dishwasher in the background, but the dishes need washed. It is currently nine o'clock. I showered. I feel so clean. I made some dinner, and then I sat here and I did work that I had to do, and I just wanted to kind of give a closing update to the weekly vlog so I haven't read any more of this I may read a little bit before I go to bed but I think I'd prefer to actually just get a good night's sleep so you guys will see me finish this in the next weekly reading vlog but I feel like this week was kind of weird because <laughs> I'm like so confused about what I filmed because I was also filming for the reading challenge video and I haven't edited any of the weekly vlog footage yet so I'm just like what did I even do this week I feel like I read a lot of books which feels good like I feel like I read like good books as well um it was kind of a weird week I feel like I didn't have much structure I was working from home all week definitely like tired at times yeah but I don't know it was a good week I'm just nervous about all the footage I got like I wonder how long this is gonna be is it gonna be short or is it gonna be like our normal length I have no idea but I feel like it was a successful week in the reading department my structure in life well honestly we ended on a good note because I ended up picking up my kitchen and picking up my living room the thing I desperately need to do is my laundry that is still what I didn't accomplish today but Honestly, we ended on a better note than we started because I feel like my place was kind of messy and I was messy, <laughs> but I feel like closing tonight, I feel a lot more level-headed. We definitely ended on a better note than we started. I feel like I was definitely recovering from traveling for a week and then coming back and having to just jump into work. It was hard. So I feel good and like rested and kind of more recovered at this point in the evening which feels nice I feel like ready for the new week next week is gonna be so exciting I hopefully if everything goes smoothly and buying a car which is crazy my mom's coming to visit me at the end of the week so it will be a very fun weekly vlog over there and I feel like that wraps everything up please let me know if you guys read any of the books that I read this week because I feel like there were so many good ones oh my gosh I'm so excited for the like end of the month, the monthly wrap up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.